Good morning and welcome again to Carmel Mission Basilica, where once again you find me in the baptistry. And to begin this morning, I wanted to share with you a poem by A.E. Hausmann, a renowned classical scholar and poet of the Edwardian era. Hausmann would have been described as a scholar first and a poet second, but his poetry really captured the imagination of many of his musical contemporaries, and many of his poems have indeed been set to music. He was an avowed atheist, but throughout his life, he expressed a desire to believe. In this poem, not published until after his death in 1936, we hear something of that yearning for belief for faith in God. An Easter hymn. In that Syrian garden, ages slain, you sleep. And uh, know not you are dead in vain. Nor even in dreams behold how dark and bright ascends in smoke and fire by day and night the hate you die to quench and could but fan. Sleep well and uh, see no morning, son of man. But if the grave rent and the stone rolled by, at the right hand of majesty on high you sit, and sitting so remember yet your tears your agony and bloody sweat, your cross and passion and the life you gave. Bow hither out of heaven and see and save. Faith and belief have been on my mind during these turbulent, uncertain times with COVID-19 swirling around, threatening us. And I'm sure you have possibly thought about your faith and the fact that it gives you reason to continue to hope, reason to believe, reason to know that this too shall pass. I was particularly touched by a story that came from Lombardy in northern Italy concerning a young doctor, Julian Urban. Dr. Urban was working in a hospital which was hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. The hospital lacked the resources to help the, all those who were ill. And Dr. Urban said, Never in my darkest nightmares did I imagine that I would see and experience what has been going on in Italy in our hospital these past three weeks. The nightmare flows and the river gets bigger and bigger. A priest came to the hospital ill with the coronavirus Dr. Urban and his colleagues watched as the priest read his Bible, offering comfort to the dying and also to those caring for them. Dr. Urban said, When we had time, we listened to him. We have reached our limits. We can do no more. People are dying every day. We are exhausted. Then he and his colleagues realized we needed to start asking God for help. He testified, when we talk to each other, we cannot believe that though we were once fierce atheists, we are now daily in search of peace, asking the Lord to help us continue so that we can take care of the sick. The priest did not survive his battle with the virus. But before he died, 
He helped Dr. Urban and his companions to return to God. He helped them to find new strength, new courage, a resilience that they could find nowhere else. Everywhere we look, our God is present and active, working to help us, to comfort us, to encourage us, to lift us up. We who have been given the gift of faith are called to share it, share it with others, in actions small and great. May I ask you this morning to join me in continuing to pray for all those who are on the front lines of this COVID-19 crisis, especially our medical professionals who day after day are risking their own lives in order to save others. As always, I invite you to send your prayer requests to Father Rodrigo and myself. Just go to prayerrequests at carmelmission.org. And I continue to wish you and your loved ones Easter blessings of good health, new hope, and great happiness. <laughs>